In essence, gaming smartphones essentially need to feature only the most robust of internals. These same phones, of course, also need to boost and most modern of designs that appeal to gamers. Thankfully, Xiaomi and Realme have both been on all fours lately, bringing about smartphone entries. The undeniably come with gaming features. If you are on the lookout for the base gaming smartphones under $200 or $10,000 Philippines peso, you are in for a treat as this exclusive compilation is for you. Here are the top 10 best gaming phones in Philippines. But it does not mean that these phones are only available in Philippines. You can also find most of them in your own countries like India, United States, anywhere you want. You are just one step away from a Google search for that. And furthermore, if you haven't given your love to that subscribe button, make sure to do that. So let's jump into our list. On number 10, we have the Infinix Note 8. Budding smartphone manufacturer Infinix made some waves in the budget-friendly mobile gaming niche last year when it officially announced its Note 8 entry in the competition. At the core of its charm is the inclusion of MediaTek's Helio G80 chipset. A gaming-focused security operations center or SOC specially geared for gamers in this bracket. The Infinix Note 8 also flaunts one of the most massive display sizes in the race. The phone features a 6.95-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 720 and 1640 pixels and coning Gorilla Glass 6. Additionally, the phone's screen has a pill-shaped cutout housing a dual camera front-facing setup. Meanwhile, the Infinite Note X boasts 6GB of RAM and an expandable 128GB of storage on board. There's also a 5200mAh battery capacity with support for 18V fast wire charging. On number 9, we have the Vivo Y30. Despite its slightly smaller size than the previous entry in our list, the Vivo Y30's 6.47-inch IPS LCD panel is still sizable at heart. The phone's screen features a display punch hole, making it appear more massive than usual. The Vivo Y3 is then powered by MediaTek's Helio P35 chip processed best on a 12 nanometer architecture. Perhaps the most attractive feature of the phone can be found in this department. We are talking about its up to 8 GB of frame and an expandable 120 GB of internal storage. Vivo also equipped the device with a large 5000 mAh battery. Alas, the company did not manage to arm it with support for fast charging. Users will have to rely on its conventional 10 watt charging. Strangely, the phone features a modern USB Type-C port. On number 8, we have the Samsung Galaxy A12. Don't be fooled by the clean-looking appearance of the Samsung Galaxy A12. Its users were not as the phone is just about as reliable as it is enjoyable when held for an extended period. The Samsung Galaxy A12 has a 6.5-inch PLS IPS panel with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. The phone's screen also comes with a dual drop notch, which houses a selfie snapper. The Samsung Galaxy A12 also gets filled by the same security operation centers powering the list's night smartphone. The phone starts at 3 GB of RAM and maxes out at a 6 GB of frame variety. It also has expandable storage with three options, 32 GB RAM, 64 and 128 GB. Samsung also included a 5000 mAh battery capacity with support of 15 watt fast wire charging. Other crucial features of the phone include a 3.5 mm headphone jack, a side mounted fingerprint reader, Bluetooth 5.0 and a USB type C. In the next one, we have the Oppo A52. You will get tons of perks, gaming or otherwise, when you finally get your hands on the Oppo A52. Let's start with the Oppo A52 6.52 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. The phone's screen also supports 480 nits of typical brightness and a punch hole housing a 16 megapixel selfie shooter. The Oppo A52 is also powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 665 chipset with Adreno 610 spearheading the GPU department. The phone also has up to 8 GB of frame and 120 GB of UFS 2.1 internal storage. The latter is likewise expandable. The Oppo A52 is also talking around a 5000 mAh battery 
with support for 18 watt fast wire charging. For gamers, such a combination is more than enough. In the next one we have the Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max. Cherry Mobile's latest value packed smartphone offering in the local market is the Aqua S9 Max as it stands. The phone is also a favorite among gamers with a tight budget. At the top of their favorite features of the Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max is the inclusion of MediaTek's Helio D90T chip. Yet another gaming centric silicone for budget mobile gamers. Meanwhile, the device has 4GB of RAM and a Mali G76 GPU. The Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max also features a 6.53 inch Full HD Plus True View display, immersive enough for playing games. The front panel also sports a teardrop notch in which a 32 megapixel selfie camera resides. An earpiece is placed right atop the bezel. The Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max is also king in terms of its battery features. It has a 5130 mAh battery with 18 watt fast wire charging support. Coming up next, on number 5 we have the Realme C15. The Realme C15 comes with a massive 6000 mAh battery and MediaTek's Helio G35 processor. Two features that are already more than enough for gamers who do not want to go overboard their gaming expenses and also experience reliable gaming, of course. Apart from its impressive chip and enormous battery, the Realme C15 also flaws a 6.5 IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 600 pixels and Corning Gorilla Glass, a teardrop notch is also featured housing a selfie camera unit. One of the key selling features of the Realme C15 does not only rely on its sizable battery, Realme also equips the device with complementary support for 18 watt fast wire charging. Alongside its chip, this should be a win-win for all gamers. And the next one we have the Xiaomi Redmi 9. The Xiaomi Redmi 9 did not only redefine what it means to own a budget-friendly smartphone, when announced in June 2020. Ultimately, the phone also went above and beyond relative to its gaming-oriented features. For instance, the Xiaomi Red 9 now features a 6.53-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels. According to Gorilla Glass 3, the phone's screen also supports 400 nits of typical brightness. The Xiaomi Redmi also has MediaTek's Helio G80 at its core. Easily its more attractive feature amongst cameras. Also, the phone is armed with up to 6GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage. Its gaming performance is met even more pronounced with the accompaniment of a 5020mAh battery capacity with support of 18 watt fast wire charging. On number 3 we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 truly stood out in 2020 for all the right reasons, one of which is its penchant for delivering the goods relative to its gaming performance. The star of the show is the Redmi Note 9's Helio G85 chip from MediaTek, a gaming-centric processor based on a 12 nanometer architecture. It also has a slew of RAM and ROM offering, both of which max out at 6GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage. The Redmi Note 9 also works on a 5020mAh battery capacity with support of 18W fast wire charging. A 9W reverse charging feature is also included. Next to its chipset, the Redmi Note 9 also happens to be a knockout when it comes to looks. The phone has a 6.53 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels and a 415 nits of typical displays. The device's front panel also gets protected by Corning Gorilla Plus 5. A water repellent coating is also a standard feature in this department. Around the back of the device is without a doubt its crucial design feature. Gamers who also shoot photos occasionally can carry their phones with confidence with its distinctive camera module design. On our top two, we have the Xiaomi Poco M3. Talking about some head turning design, the Poco M3 is decidedly a scene stealer of a smartphone. This is crucial if you happen to be a gamer who likes to be noticed from time to time. We're talking about the Poco M3 Rear Aesthetics. Front lined by a Herculean looking camera module which houses a triple camera setup. But this is not the only essential feature of the phone. The POCO N3 also has a Colchrome Snapdragon 662 chip at its core with up to 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. The latter is also expandable via its dedicated micro SD card slot. 
The Poco M3 also harbors a 6000 mAh battery, which is also thankfully complemented by an 18 watt fast wire charging support. At the front, the Poco M3 also features a 6.35 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels and 480 nits of typical brightness. According Gorilla Glass 3, it's also a confirmed display perk. And on the top of our list is the Xiaomi Red 9T. Charging ahead amongst its peers in our list is the Xiaomi Redmi 90. Borrowing some obvious cues for the vanilla Redmi 9 and taking them up a notch quite effectively, the Redmi 90 features a 6.53-inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels and Corning Gorilla Glass 3. The phone's display also supports 400 nits of typical brightness. The Xiaomi Redmi 90 has also a Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 SOC with up to 6GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage. The phone also manages to bring in two types of storage varieties in the fold, UFS 2.1 and 2.2. The Xiaomi Redmi 90 is also used by a 6000 mAh battery with support for 18V fast wire and 2.5 reverse charging. The Xiaomi Redmi 9T also features a side mounting fingerprint reader, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a USB Type-C. Xiaomi and Realme are still the biggest smartphone brands in the budget gaming niche in the Philippines and these manufacturers tried and tested formula could not be more overstated. And as I said before, you can also find these smartphones in your country. Just go on Google and have a search. Thank you for being with us till the end of the video guys. And tell me which one is your favorite and which one do you recommend to me and other fellows. And make sure to give your love to that subscribe button. So stay tuned for the next amazing cool videos and stay blessed.